Hey guys, so first of all, huge, huge apologies for those of you that have come over to this video um, from my original Next Level Flight Planning video on uh, on YouTube for the A320N in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, after that video was posted, it became apparent that the flight plan had been left up for about 10 minutes whilst I was programming in all the information for the flight plan into the McDo, which is absolutely absolutely no use at all because you can't see what it is that I'm doing so this video is going to fill in that little gap after which you can go back to uh, to the uh, the other video at about 90 minutes in and see how to fill in all the weights and do the trim settings and the flex temp settings etc so this video let's crack straight on where we left off so we've got our um, our departure and destination information in there so if we bring the flight plan back up let's start entering some more information so our cost index which is eight we can enter in just here we then need to enter in our flight level for the cruise and the cruise temperature which is minus 35 so we'd enter in 250 and then what we'd normally do is we would enter a slash just there and then we would enter the plus minus key well minus uh, to make it minus 35 but as you can see here in the latest fly by wire mod for some reason that doesn't work at this point so the way to do it is if you just press clear and leave the flight level in 250 you can enter just the flight level and it will give an estimated temperature which is only one degree out because the flight plan said minus 35, this says minus 34, so that's as, uh, that's as close as it needs to be. Let's go back and pop in the flight number for today's flight, which is 1831. 1831. And we can also enter in the, uh, the alternate for this flight, which is Echo Hotel Romeo Delta. Echo Hotel Romeo Delta and Delta. I have no idea where that is. Okay, so that's our init B page all complete. We will uh, go across here and do init B later. That's actually back in the other video. And uh, we've also got our performance page to have a look at, which is in the other video as well. This takes a look at how you do your flap settings, how you trim the aircraft for takeoff, and how you do flex temp and calculate that as well. So what we need to do now is have a look at our flight plan. So if we go to the flight plan page just here, and what we're going to do is take all the information from our operational flight plan route, which is there, and pop it into our McDo. So the first thing we need to do is tell the McDo where we are departing from, which runway. So we've got Manchester here. So if we select Manchester, and then if we go up here and select departure and select runway two three right then it brings us to the page of available SIDs or standard instrument departures now there's no SID actually listed in our flight plan and that's just because at the time I set this flight plan up they were actually using runway 5 in real life to uh, to depart on and Simbrief uses real live weather so it has given me a direct to Sonex because I changed the runway just to match the flight plan that I've got, the, the real live flight plan I've got uh, from EasyJet here, which was runway 23. So if you see this waypoint here, DCT, that is not a waypoint, don't enter it. That actually means just fly direct to the next waypoint. But what I am going to do is I am going to enter the, uh, the SID that you would normally use from runway 23 right to get to Sonics, which I know from experience is the Sonics 1 Romeo departure. So we just click that in just there, give that a second to load. There it is, and press insert. Okay, so if we scroll down here, we've now got waypoints, which take us all the way up to Sonics. Okay, underneath that, you've got decel, which is the deceleration point for the aircraft for when it comes to landing at Amsterdam. However, we've got a lot more waypoints and airways to add just yet. So from Sonex, our next point is an airway, Uniform Lima 975. So to enter that, we click on Sonex, go to Airways, and enter Uniform Lima 975. Airways you put in on the left, waypoints you pop in on the right. So airway over here. And after UL975, 
we're going to DSIG, DASIG, which is Delta Echo Sierra India Golf. Pop that in there. And there it is loaded up. So the next thing to enter is another airway, Lima 603. So Lima 603, which goes in just here. And then after Lima 603, we're going to Lamzo. Uh, where are we? L A M S O. And that is our final waypoint. The next waypoint here is actually the SID for runway 18 right. The reason I know it's a SID is because it's got the LAMSO, which is here, and then it's got the 2 alpha, which is just the uh, designation for the star that we are going to use. So to pop that in, what we do is we come off here because this is all now entered in, so hit return. And if we scroll down, you can see that takes us all the way down to LAMSO. The next uh, way to enter the star then is we'll click on the destination, which is Amsterdam. Click on the arrival, and there we have to select our arrival runway, which is 18 right. Scroll down, there we go, ILS 18 right. And the star is the LAMSO 2 Alpha. Scroll down here, LAMSO 2 Alpha. Now it suggests here that we go via RTIV. I would suggest at the moment, uh, I've not found these to be too accurate, that we remove any of the veers. There we go. Um, unless you've actually got a Navigraph subscription and you can see the actual uh, star chart. Star chart, that sounds good, doesn't it? But the chart for the star. Um, and, it's, and it shows you that you need to go via a particular uh, waypoint, uh, etc. Then uh, leave the veers blank. So we can insert all that. And if we now check, there we go. All these different waypoints are now in as part of the star to... Amsterdam's runway 18 right. So once all the flight plans entered, it's good practice to check that it all looks accurate and makes sense here on the flight plan. We can't do that, however, just yet because the uh, the ideas are not yet aligned. Uh, oh, there we go. That was good timing, wasn't it? All right. So turn the navigation display mode to plan. There it is. Uh, set it to uh, to 10 miles, which it already is, look, 10 miles. And then if we just scroll through down just here, you can see it departs out to the west and then we'll start to follow it around an easterly way over the North Sea and then into Amsterdam on what looks like we sort of fly over the runway and then uh, head north turn east and fly south onto runway 18. What would happen of course in real life, if I just zoom out a second, what would happen in real life is 9 times out of 10 this is the full published approach which you rarely actually ever fly. You would sort of probably get to around this waypoint here and then air traffic control, if you're flying on VATS in particular, air traffic control will probably give you vectors to uh, to fly in and align with the ILS this way rather than doing this whole star in its uh, in its entirety so if you've got the Navigraph uh, charts you can check that out because you'll be able to see the actual star as it's uh, written down check all the waypoints are correct and uh, or as I say if you're on uh, on your on your VATSIM you would uh, you'd most likely get a director's uh, direct vector heading to uh, the final approach one thing uh, that a lot of people ask about is once you've got the flight plan all done, which uh, which we now have, what happens if when I'm flying on VATSIM or if I'm flying particularly on long journeys when the weather can sometimes change, what if the runway changes, the runway that I was about to land at is now, uh, is now changed, can you go in and edit it? Well, the short answer is yes, Manchester yes of course you can. Who is that? Huh? I don't know departure. why I'm getting ATC voices there. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Don't want that. 
Um, yeah, so let's just go in and quickly look at how you would change the uh, the runway that you want to land at and maybe change the star as well. That's straightforward. Uh, just get rid of this GPS primary down here by pressing clear. And we do it in the exact same way as we've just entered our landing information. So click on Amsterdam here, Eham runway 18, the destination, and click on arrival. Let's say we want runway 16, uh, runway 6 rather. Uh, where's that gone? Do, 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 there it is. Let's say we're going to go on to ILS runway 6 and uh, pick a different star as well. Red for 1 alpha, just because I recognize that one. Again, no veers. Hit insert, and we've got now a brand new set of waypoints and a brand new runway and we can double check that again looking at the uh, at the flight plan and you can see here it looks a little bit different from how it did first time uh, first time around so that's now all got the brand new waypoints and the brand new runway in for uh, for Amsterdam now we've changed that and if we just go back to the top we can check to see what that looks like on the plan. So still the same route to begin with. Heading out over the North Sea and then down and around into Amsterdam. That actually looks a little bit neater than the original uh, original star, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, there we go. That's how easy it is to uh, to change your runway and uh, and star if if need be. Of course, you can just sometimes need to change the star, which is again very easily done. Just select your destination, arrival, select the same runway, which was Isles runway six, and select. Oh, let's just hit the first one and see what happens. Let that load in. There we go, uh, no veer, and there we are, we've got our uh, same runway this time, but a brand new star, because it's not uncommon for the stars to change. Uh, there we go. Alright, so, now that our, uh, our flight plan is all done, we'll go back to the McDo. The next thing we're going to do is go to our init page. And it's our init B page, which concerns all the fuel weights and um, and things like that, and the center of gravity fuel weights. Uh, what as well you do miss in the other video is how to get these boxes to work, because you can't actually put anything in these boxes until you've clicked it once to get these figures up here. Click it again, and now you can actually edit these. So the zero fuel weight for uh, for our flight plan is 59.5 .5, which I can pop in and then the zero fuel weight once you've entered the uh, entered the actual payloads in which again is done in uh, in the other video back in a moment the center of gravity just for example as it was there was 17.95 you can pop that in 17.95 so zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity is all there okay so at this point now i'm going to send you back over to uh, to the main video of next level flight planning uh if you've lost that check out the comments uh, check out the video description i'll make sure that link's in there for you to do once again my biggest apologies of the fact you had to uh, just come and look at this little video addendum uh, but hopefully that has uh, filled in the blanks of the original video so if you go back to the original video now at about 19 minutes and 20 seconds that's where we'll uh, we'll pick this up thanks for watching bye bye